Hey guys, this is Samir for Think Digit, and today we're going to be reviewing After the Earth, a game for iOS which is based on the Will Smith movie. Now the movie hasn't really received great reviews and as history has always taught us, games based on movies aren't that great. After the Earth is more of an endless running game, which is what we've seen on other games such as Temple Run, Subway Surfer and more. Can this compete with the traditional running games with the movie franchise? We find out. So this is After Earth, it's based on the movie and as you can see you get to choose between a boy and a girl as the lead protagonist and the boy looks nothing like Jaden Smith. You have a career mode, a marathon mode and some settings to choose from. So we're going to give you a glimpse of the career mode and what it uh, entails. So to start with, we're going to start with the first level as you can see Will Smith who is of course the commander in chief in the movie is the one giving you your orders and what you need to do. Uh, the game is basically running and dodging obstacles like we've seen in numerous games like Temple Run and so on and so forth. The only difference is that this one is based on a movie, the level has a beginning and an end. Uh, of course the obstacles that are there you can navigate through them, your suit changes color as you take damage or when danger is approaching. Now a good thing about the game is that it is forgiving three times which is to say you can take a hit or two before you die. The downside is that if you die the game starts right from the beginning of the level so at times if you're really close to the end and you get hit it might get a little frustrating. Let's see we took one hit and uh, the game slowed down you blink your suit changes color. So as you can see apart from running and of course in some time to come you will have uh, enemies that you encounter you also get to do these free falls, free falls which are uh, part of the movie and really look cool uh, are there in the game you control this by moving your device around and uh, combat of course is taking care of its so you come to combat in a bit. So yes the game does try to vary itself with a bit of combat and some alternate movements like you just saw the aerial movements and you also get to ride a few vehicles the environments change slightly and there are a couple of boss fights in the game which involve you just tapping the display so that you can inflict damage upon your enemy overall the game is really quite simple and there's not much logic to it so there's nothing to do with the movie really apart from the name and it could be any other running game and it would still be the same the game of course is paid at cost 55 rupees and if you are really a fan of the franchise or want to play movie tie-in games you can check it out but there are really really a lot of endless running games available in the market for free on iOS and Android that you can check out.